So today we have a new project and that is this fake brick wall, 49ers, something abstract with 49ers. I will show it on the projector here in a second. Here's the entire wall. In a screen projector and it's reflecting the fake brick wall here. And that's what we're gonna use to trace out the graffiti and then the other areas that we're going for. Yeah. Hey. This is what we're doing. Just inking it out, outlining it like this. So you can see exactly where it's gonna go. We start drawing it out. Pretty nice. Yeah, working. Yeah. Now, when we turn on this light, that's what it's gonna look like. Yeah, zooming out a little bit. It's a little hard to see, but yeah, we have a lot of room to work with in here. Um, that's gonna be in the corner. Then a bridge, San Francisco Bridge is gonna be in there. And then the football player is gonna be in this side. This TV moves, so. Should end up right there. And it's not blocking the graffiti like they asked. Pretty good. It wasn't obvious enough. They really love um, the 49ers. So I um, also did some practice on a bigger one for them, just to, like an example of what it might look like. And they really like it. So yeah, it's gonna look like that, but on this wall right here. Already got the 49ers going. I really like it on the brick wall. Like it's, it really is looking nice. We just need to get football player and then the bridge. The bridge is gonna be the most difficult because I don't have like a lot of room here to like really push it back. So I'll figure something out. Now that one's done. Now we are working on this football player next to the TV. And then the, I think the most difficult part would be the bridge. Something like that. Pretty good so far. Just adding the outlines here. And also I have to go back with more detail, like the more the outlines, like the shading, the darker ends, and then the um, other shadings for the other stuff, you know? So um, we'll get that done. And then we'll do the outline and then yeah, it'll look pretty good. I was uh, sketching that out. I also realized something is that how fake this is. It's literally just like a, I don't know how shoes. But you can tell that literally there's this gap here. So it's literally just a stapled on brick wall. So like if they moved, they could just take the brick wall off and take the art piece with them. That's actually really genius. Now it's time to work on the bridge. It actually fits perfectly across the image. So yeah, taking a going to take advantage of this. Look at that. Look at what the projector looks like from the other side. That looks so weird. That's so cool. The trickiest part will be like trying to find out the colors for each of these, which will be tricky, but I can always just use a reference photo and then go from there. It'll be easier in the end. Yeah. Sketching out the lines, making it look good. If I do one line, then I'll confuse myself on how thick it should be because it's just a sketch and it will all be one singular size. So it makes it easier. All right, the sketch is now done. It looks pretty good so far. Um, one thing that I did need to do was because this uh, TV actually moves back and forth, I made a little box where the blind spot is when this thing moves back and forth so that there's room for that, and you can see the rest of the bridge behind. Alrighty, now we got the paint for this graffiti 49ers right here. Just gonna do this one first, start with the white, and then hit it with the background black, and then hit it with that red, and then going back into colors, and yeah, it'll look pretty good. Alrighty, going in with that nice eggshell white. Getting it some nice color and looks.
Well, that's what the starting of it looks like. And then we'll get it back with all those little details and hit it with the black and then red and then outlines and then highlights and bam, it'll be done. Alrighty, we got the full like white outline of this almost done. Now we're just gonna hit a paint in the drips and then start working on the black outer lines before we hit it with the red then a darker red then a whiter red or like a brighter red and then outline with that and then bam we're good all right now that we have the black outer end to it we're gonna go back with the red to finally fill in that space and make it look a lot nicer well that's what it looks like almost done just gotta go back with it and give it its outline and shadows and stuff like that but then we can move on to the rest of the paintings over here but for now let's just have to go over here wait for it to dry and go over it with another layer and that will be done while we're waiting for that to dry actually i'm gonna start on this bridge right here and start adding the light orange color to it so that that's pretty much ready for the final bridge painting, which will be a little complex, but will work out in the end. Like I said before, there's a square behind here where I won't be painting because that's a blind spot. Um, nice car. Uh, but yeah, I probably will, I'll try to maybe think about filling in a color for it, but I don't think it would look very good. Plus I don't want to risk getting paint on this expensive TV, so I will do my best to avoid that and to fill in the background color for this piece right here while this dries. That's where the bridge is gonna be, and that's what I'm working on. Alrighty, got the line out for that one. Now we're just gonna go in here and do some line outs for these ones, like this, kinda like that. But you can tell that it looks a lot cleaner and nicer with the lines in. Like it, here, I'll show you. Do a out of oak. Oh. It looks a lot cleaner and nicer that way as well. I'll definitely do a thicker line around most of them, but it already looks amazing how it is. Pretty nice. A couple more line details over here while we're at it to make the lines look a little bit thicker. Just an outer thickness so that you can pull it off better. Well, that one looks pretty good. Um, from a farther distance away, looks even better. Like where they're gonna sit. And plus, the good thing about it is, doesn't get covered up by the TV. Oh wait, hold up. Oh hey, there's me. All right, well that one's done. And now we uh, finish the base for the bridge. Looks good so far, pretty confident. It's actually really cool because the eclipse is happening right now in Arizona. It's a lot darker out than it usually is. So I have some glasses I'm gonna show you. Zoom in, lower that brightness. Oh, look at that. That's freaking sweet. It's definitely a lot darker too. It looks like the moon. All right, there's now. What we're gonna do is work on this one. The colors are gonna be a little confusing at first, but it will look good in the end. And uh, yeah, just all one dark color base for here, and then we'll go back with the actual colors and then fill that in and it will look great. I've never painted uh, the San Francisco bridge before, but um, I'm doing a step-by-step -step in my own way where I'm going with one base color and then hitting it with all the other colors after to see if that will work out. Right now I'm just working on um, the base color, like I said, for the millionth time already, probably. And uh, just trying to finish that and then get an idea of where to start next after this part is done. And then it, it gets easier over time. The more you do it, the easier it places it to see where you need to and more paint so yeah well this is what the bridge looks like from an angle so far i'm still working on the rest of this bit but the lighting and the shadowing it will all look better 
soon here, soon enough. All right, that's what it looks like almost done. Just need to do the final one up there and then get the, that bridge done and then we can start with the um, ropes. I don't know what they're called, but it's the stuff that holds the bridge up. So now that we got that part done and that part done, now we just have to get the metal ropes down and get those colored and then bam. The bridge would be finished. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, San Diego. Or... Alrighty, there we go. The San Francisco Bridge is now fully painted. Looks good so far. Now just the football man. And then we can call that a finished product. Or mural. Or painting. Or any other way. Yeah. Alright, that's done. Now the bridge is done. And now all we gotta do is the football player. And what we'll start with is a white outline at first, just like that one. Then we'll do the most color, which is red. Do all the red, then the next steps, and then more complication, and then bam, we'll have a finished football player. almost done with the base painting. Most of it's almost done with the base painting. And the black and the white and the gray and then all the detail stuff and then the numbers of course and then it'll look pretty good in here. 